Hey, I'm Joseph Harris, and I want to show you an original version of an older mind reading trick that's original with me. And I call it Pick a Politician. Now, you have 10 cards, and on each card is 10 different names of uh, different politicians. These contain uh, Republican, Democrat, Independent, doesn't matter, the good, the bad, the ugly, some you love to, to uh, love and some you love to hate. But anyway, it's, it's an amazing trick. And I'm going to demonstrate it for you using our camera person, Emily. And this is exactly the way you would do it if you were presenting it uh, to some small group or if you do some strolling, walk around magic. This is how you would do it. Now, Emily, notice I have the 10 cards. And what I want you to do first is pick a card. Don't worry about the name. Just pick a card. And you do so by saying stop. When you say stop, then that's when I stop. 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 Okay. You picked the card. Now... You're going to also pick the name. So what I want you to do is lock in on a name that you can, can remember, one that's kind of familiar to you. You may not be familiar with all of these. Remember, there's a hundred politicians, some living, some dead. And tell me when you have the name. You have one? All right, now, I want you to point to it because we want people who are watching from the camera to also be in on it. So just point to the name, make sure it's clear, they can see it. Very good. All right, got it. You pointed, and then they were able to see it also. Now, I'm going to turn the cards over. Because on the back are the same names, but there are a couple of differences. First of all, the names are in red, not in black. And also, they're in a different order. They're mixed up differently. They're on different cards, but it's still the same 100 names, 10 per card, okay? Now notice, Emily, as I go through, I want you to tell me if the name that you chose is on this card. No. It's not on that card, okay? That means we have to flip and go through every one of them, all right? Is the name you chose on this card? No. Not on this one. I know you have to kind of scan over it, and it may take a few seconds, but look closely. Is the name you chose on this card? Yes. It is. John Kennedy is on this card. Yes. <laughs> Which is the name you chose. Notice how quickly I was able to do that. You see, this is what amazes people. First of all, the fact you can read their mind, and then that you can read their mind so quickly. Notice how fast it was. So uh, you can also do it over and over. You can do it with the same person. If you have a group of people, you may have two or three or four or five spectators standing there. You can do it again. It doesn't matter. Unlike these tricks that you can only do once or twice and then you have to stop because they may catch how it's done. They will not catch it. The more you do it, the more confused they'll become and the more amazed because it will appear that you're actually reading their mind. Amazing. As I said, original version uh, with me of taking these names and putting them together. Also, if you like that, I have a Bible version I call What's in a Name with 100 different Bible names that you can use for uh, Bible school or ministry camps, different places where there's ministry setting, and it works the exact same way. 100 Bible names, and then after you use it and you read their mind, I always like to say, you know, I can't really read your mind, but God can. And then I talk about how God knows our heart. And so there's so many different ways you can use it. And if you're interested in this, again, I'm the place you can get these. You can't just get these anywhere. If you're interested, josephharrismagic.net. You got that? josephharrismagic.net. Come see me.